All right, Sketchpad Podcast, we back. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. So today we're going to talk about Pierce Morgan talking to the Breakfast Club about Trump and his dynamic uh, with uh, comparing to Obama. So let's get it, man. We'll be back. Sketchpad. sure you like share subscribe hit that thumbs up button also too man uh if you want to donate links is right above our names look up is right there you know what i'm saying if you see it cash app you know what i'm saying if you want to uh donate you know what i mean thank y'all for all y'all donations our super chats are down you know what i mean because youtube has demonetized our channel but we're gonna keep this thing rolling look and if you're not subscribed we hope we can earn your subscription today because uh Hey man, we do a lot of hard work over here And you won't be disappointed So look man, we're going to listen to this Pierce Morgan Talking to the Breakfast Club about Obama and Trump And let's see what they got to say I agree, and I wrote a column at the time saying I thought it was a despicable assault on democracy Right, And that all plays to Trump is hates losing uh, He got in his, into his head I think he genuinely believes the election mm-hmm. was stolen. I think he had a lot of people around him, Giuliani and the other people, who were telling him 24-7 it was stolen wrongly from you. And because the number of votes involved is like 40,000 votes, a tiny number of votes, mm-hmm. right, which he had to, in his head, compute into a loss. He couldn't do it. And that's a failing of Trump. And his failure to honour the result of that election was a disgrace. And I've told him to his face, and he lost his shit with me in an interview, and gave it to me, you know, and you're a fool and you're this. I said, well, maybe I am the fool. But I just think if you're a, an American president and you lose, you accept defeat. I said, there's no doubt the American political system is one of the most secure in the world. The voting system is one of the most secure in the world. So I don't agree with him about that. Mm-hmm. But, but, and it's an, an interesting but, I come back to, you take away all the rhetoric, mm-hmm. actually judge him on what he did. He didn't take America into any wars. That's a big plus to me. Big plus. Right? He had interesting relations with traditional American enemies, North Korea, China, Russia. Right? Did that help or hinder American interests? Would Vladimir Putin have invaded Ukraine if Trump had still been president? I don't know the answer, mm-hmm. but he had an interesting way of going about relationships with these people, which America has traditionally been very hostile towards. And there's, you know, if you look at him purely on his foreign policy, I thought he was right about NATO, not in getting rid of it, but in making other countries pay their dues. They're now all paying their dues. Big tick in the box for Trump. He was right. Why should America be paying for everything? If you're a signed up member of NATO and you want the American military to come and support you, you pay your 2% or whatever it was, right? And now they all have to. So Trump did a lot of effective things with his barrel-like thing. He was right, for example, uh, to take take on the Germans about their over-reliance on Russian energy. Because when it came to it, Russia turned the tap off and Germany was screwed. So Trump has these sort of, you know, he has these instincts. If Trump gets Sometimes back- he's right, sometimes he's wrong, mm. right? But I don't think it's as straightforward as he's Hitler or he's an angel. Mm. He's somewhere in well, the Well, Hitler mid- didn't start off Hitler either. I'm sure you've read uh, yeah, but The Fall ne- of the Third Trump Reich is never before. going to kill 12 million people. I can guarantee you, he's not going to do that. I, I don't, think, fact, that, I don't it, think anybody thought about that about Hitler either in the beginning. Well, it, oh, nigga, you shut up, nigga. <laughs> like, come on, bro. I'm going to let this go, but I had to stop it. See, it's people like Charlemagne who are just ignorant. Come on, bro. You're telling me that there's nobody. Matter of fact, I'm going to let this play, and then I'm going to speak on that. Let me make sure I write that down. Let me keep that in my head. But let's let us let's like let it finish. Yeah, he showed a lot more sign of it than Trump. But I think the idea of equating someone like Trump to Hitler is stupid. Again, it comes back to that Chris Rock thing. Don't over demonize the guy. You may have to have him as president here for another four years, right? I would urge Donald Trump to change. Right? He's got to stop being in defense mode the whole time. Right? 
have a more that's why i come back to his speech in iowa mm. he suddenly started sounding much more inclusive i want to bring independents and democrats with me this time right has he learned lessons has he does he regret quietly what went on with january i bet he does right mm. knowing trump i bet he does i'll never admit it but i bet he does would he pivot to a more inclusive president second time round? Has he learned lessons? I don't know the answers to those questions. Um, I know that his style enrages a lot of people, but it also delights a lot of people. Piers, I know that's your guy, but I don't believe none of the bullshit that's coming out of his mouth. What have I said that's wrong? As far as what? As far as Trump, my reading of him. Well, even if you talk about uh, you know, uh, what, what he would do in regards to Russia and Ukraine, I personally think if Russia gets back, I mean, if Trump gets back into the White House in 2024, he would turn his back and let Russia do whatever they want. Maybe to Ukraine. But if you judge him on what he actually, I think, I, I think if he, actually judge his foreign policy and what he did as president, there's yeah, no sign of, of that. To me, to me, none of that, all of that fails in comparison to how he does not give a damn about American democracy. I see this. This is so this. This is so crazy to me. I got so much to say, and I'm really not trying to make this a long episode, but I got so much to say because. It's people like him who, let me just keep it going. Let me keep it going. I like when, when, you, when you got a guy literally saying, let's get rid of the Constitution to overturn the mm. results mm. of an election. I like, agree. I, I'm not like, no. Like, I agree. Yeah, I'm not. I agree. I'm, and there's he's, a very, Ameri if you, he's the I guy agree. who says America first. And there's a very good so, argument that someone who does that should not be allowed to run again. Absolutely. However, your Constitution makes it crystal clear that he can run again. And in fact, even Not the 14th Amendment, the 14th Amendment said, if you tried to lead a coup of this country, you are ineligible I know, to be president. That, for president. Let me tell you what's going to happen. The states that have tried to play that card, it'll go to the Supreme Court and they're going to throw it out. You know why? Because he's got Republican judges. Yes, that he put in place. Come on, but you know why? Cut he, it out. You know why? That's not why, though. Like, that's not why. <laughs> that's not why. Like, Mm. I, I, I'm gonna keep it going. You know why uh -huh. he was able to? Because he was elected your president right. in 2016. You're right. You're so, right. So You're right. The, if Americans didn't want Trump as president, don't vote for him. And the same applies now. Mm. Don't vote for the guy because you know what? If he can pack the Supreme Court with more Republican judges next time around, that's exactly what and he'll you do. Know what? As the Democrats will do as well. No, Democrats won't do because they don't have the courage to do that. They could have done things like that, even when Barack Obama could have implemented Merrick Garland. He chose to follow the rules of democracy because Mitch McConnell that told was him, a, that, Mitch McConnell told him, "Hey, it's too late in your presidency to implement." That a was Supreme a Court tactical justice. error. Yes, because when when Trump got the uh, chance to do it, he did it. But let me ask and you, Mitch McConnell didn't encourage it. You mentioned Obama, so this is an mm -hmm. interesting little question I always throw people. It's interesting if you guys know the answer. How many uh, immigrants, illegal immigrants, did Barack Obama deport in his eight years as president? Oh, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Have a guess. No clue. No clue. Mm -hmm. Interesting, right? You don't know. I mean, I know it was a lot, but I don't know the exact number. Have a guess. Oh, I don't know. Give me, give me a number. I actually have read that it's more than Trump. Give, give me a number. I really don't know. Yes. <laughs> eight years. Eight okay. years. How I many? Don't, how many? I don't know. How many people did he physically have deported in eight years? I have no idea. Well, give me a number. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want it, do you? No, I really don't know. I really I don't know no even where to begin. I don't know if it's tens of thousands, millions. I don't know I'm where sure to begin. Millions. Hmm? But I've, re I've read answer, that it was more the than The answer Trump. is over 3 million. Damn. He was known as deporter-in-chief by Mexicans. Yes, and right. that was more than Trump. Did. He deported way more than yeah, Trump. I've he deported that. way more pro rata than any president in history. Who dropped the most bombs in a calendar year in American history? Oh, I, come on. President Barack Obama. Barack Obama, yeah, yeah, right? Including that. drone programs mm -hmm. and so on, right? Who got elected in 0809 on shutting down Guantanamo Bay? Because as a former lawyer, he believed it was an illegal... Uh, institution, President Barack, Barack Obama. Obama. Yeah. What is still open today? Guantanamo Bay. Mm -hmm. Correct, right? Et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So I know that the general thing is Obama, angel, Trump, devil. Right. But if you actually apply the scrutiny that we give Trump, put it this way, if Trump had deported 3 million people, you think you guys wouldn't know that answer? Of course you would, mm -hmm. right? Nobody knows that answer because nobody thought that way about St. Barack. And I think that he wasn't St. Barack. And Trump isn't the devil. Trump has a more devilish way of talking, and he has to be held absolutely to account. And it's a very good argument to say after what happened on January the 6th, he shouldn't be allowed to run again, but he is allowed to run again. And in fact, he can be convicted of a crime before the election and still be allowed to run as president. That's insanity. And he could actually go to prison 
and still be president of the United States constitutionally from a prison cell. Mm -hmm. All right, man, look. <clears throat> I'll tell you what the problem is here. This is this is this is another level of biasness. I'm talking like when you are at a point where you can't even tell the truth about something. They ask these these two men who 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 does journalism even though they're not journalists. Right? Charlemagne mm -hmm. and Envy they have one of the most popular black shows of all time, The Breakfast Club. They have on the most, the biggest people in politics. This guy did not know that Barack Obama, who is probably the most popular president of the United States ever, they didn't know that he deported more people than Trump. They also didn't know that he dropped more bombs than any other president in history. This is what makes me mad about people like Charlemagne because people like Charlemagne, they only in it to go against the other side. They're not in it to actually bring truth to the light it's disgusting for you to sit here and tell me that you didn't know that Barack Obama did more bad shit than Trump it's crazy to me so what I don't understand is is how can you give me a, a sane argument about something when you can't even tell me what really happened out here. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. So all I'm going to say is, man, the whole thing comparing Trump to Hitler, that's the dumbest shit that I ever heard in my life. And the whole dictator shit, that got to stop. There's three branches of government, federal, state, and local. Trump cannot be a dictator because there's too many variables for him to be a dictator. How? How can he be a dictator? And on top of that, y'all always talking about how the election is so secure and, and we have the best secure. If people don't want Trump, then don't vote for the nigga. Mm hmm. And you got to respect it. If people voted for Trump, whether it's overwhelmingly or whether it's he won by one vote, you have to respect that. That's all I'm saying. So when, when, when people like Charlemagne always talk about democracy is on the ballot, you'd be like, you're trying to scare people into not voting for someone. Won't you just bring a coherent argument? Everything that you're saying about Trump, you can apply to every other president. And actually, everything you're saying to Trump is 10 times, these other people that were in power were probably 10 times worse. He just sat there and gave you a history lesson on everything Trump did as far as going down a line of everything good he did. Did you say anything like, oh, that's crazy. I didn't even know that. That's what's up. I, I applaud him for that. No. The first thing you think was, if he get in office, he going to be a dictator. You didn't even applaud anything else that the man did, that the man just provided to you. So I don't know, man. I don't know, man. So I don't know. What you think? I mean, um, to piggyback off of what you said before, um, about uh, about these uh, these uh, these loopy politicians. He definitely he he definitely put uh Charlie Maine in his place as far as like um when Charlie Maine just like try to like he was trying to combat with him as far as like the the the, the do's and the dotes and the pros and the cons and then, and Pierce Morgan really didn't go for that like he stuck he he stood his ground and stuck to what 
what basically, you know what I mean, was the discussion. And um, he was talking as if uh, Trump's going to be a dictator tomorrow and he's going to destroy the whole universe. <laughs> Something like that, man. Yeah. Like, I, 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 some of the things Charlie Man was saying in the beginning parts, I was, I was like agreeing with him a little bit. But then when he went into this whole Hitler thing and started saying as if, you know what I mean? As if, uh, as if Trump's going to be this like terrifying figure in a few years. No, man, I don't see that. I don't see that with him. You know what I mean? And, and if we're going to talk about mistakes, there's been plenty of politicians that made mistakes, but we don't get, we don't get on those politicians case as much as we get on Trump's case. Like politicians can make a mistake of anything, any like thing, and we don't really say nothing or voice our opinions about that particular thing. But we always, there's always people voicing their opinions about what Trump going to do next. Yeah, it's 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 one of those things, man. Where I feel like it's just crazy. You know what I'm saying? But. It is what it is, man. I just think that when when you got people like Charlemagne and they saying stuff like, "Oh, it, they take everything Trump say literally," but then you got him, you got Joe Biden telling you to your face that you're not black if you don't vote for him, and you don't call him out on it. I can imagine if Trump said something like that. Yeah, that's, the, that's what I mean by the shields and the, the hypocrisy. But either way, man, we're gonna get out of here, man. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Pierce Morgan for that that knowledge that he spit. But see y'all beast. Bye. Catch back. You know what?